I'm joined now by Dr. Gladys Block talking about diabetes prevention and specifically this Turnaround Health Diabetes Prevention Program. There was a randomized clinical trial. Talk to me about some of the important results. Well, first let me just mention that there are 86 million pre-diabetics, 86 million. We need to reach them with what we know works and we know that changing your diet works, we know that increasing your physical activity works and losing some weight. People know this, they want to do it. We need to reach 86 million people. And so there are a lot of programs out there. The government is sponsoring a diabetes prevention program, but we can't reach 86 million people without something that's automated. So we did this um, trial of the Turnaround Health Diabetes Prevention Program, which is a one-year program of weekly contact with people, but it's all online or through email. And we randomized 340 people to either start the program right away or to wait six months. So it was a control group, a delayed control group. And they received the program weekly, and they, our intervention group had amazing results. I mean, we had statistically significant reductions in gluco fasting glucose, in hemoglobin A1C, in body weight, in waist circumference, in um, metabolic syndrome, and in actually in the Framingham Diabetes Risk Score. So the, all of those factors improved significantly in the intervention group and significantly better than in the control group. So this is something that actually seems to work. <laughs> So really, you were able to affect some lifestyle changes simply by reaching out online, which is so much more doable than having patients come into the doctor's a office. Absolutely. I mean, obviously it would be great if people could have personal counseling and so on, but we as a country can't afford to do that and individuals can't afford to do that. So yeah, we actually had significant increases in their daily physical activity. We had significant decreases in their sugar consumption and in their um, uh, refined carb consumption. Increases in their fruits and vegetables, which was interesting and, and significant. And increases in their, um, their self-confidence in their ability to make changes, which is sort of the heart of being able to make changes. Okay, so you started out with more than 300. We've got 86 million out there. So what do you see as the future of this program and being able to connect it to all the people in need? Right. Um, that's the big question. Uh, I would hope that major health insurers would be interested in using it. Big companies that self-insure um, might want to take a look. I would hope that some government agency might want to make it available for, for people. Um, I think it's going to be made available for individuals, but not for a while. It, it really needs a big infusion of money in order to do that. But basically, my hope is to get it out there and get it used because we really, it seems as though we can really make a difference Absolutely. in preventing diabetes by identifying the people with prediabetes and changing exactly, their habits. Exactly, Thank right. you so much, Dr. Black. Thank you.